Consult Australia has a new code of ethics. Our members at the annual general meeting on the 21st of October 2021 approved the new code. Stuart, what was the board seeking in reviewing the code? Well, Christy, we wanted to update the code to ensure it was um, modern, making it easy to read and understand and reflect the community expectations on important issues such as sustainability. Um, we also needed to modify how our legal obligations were tied into the code. So you'll see that it's quite clear that your code obligations are separate to your legal obligations. Yeah, and the new code is focused on how Consult Australia members will deal with clients, the community and other members. I really like that new approach that focuses on relationships. Yes, the new code also requires our members to commit to three core principles of collaboration, fairness and integrity. I think the use of examples within the code really explain, uh, help to explain those principles and relationships, how they fit together. Stuart, you and I are LinkedIn friends, so much of our communication about our industry now happens on social media. I see in the section on public statements, the media is no longer just journalist-driven content, but also covers social media comments. Yes, that's certainly an important pickup and a reminder for our members that although it's not an obligation under the code, it is certainly a very good idea to have a social media policy for your business. Obviously, code of ethics is pretty worthless unless the board is willing to uphold it. So what's the board's approach when it comes to complaints under the code of ethics? The board takes seriously all complaints made under the code. Um, the investigation is governed by our constitution and bylaws, though, so it's not under the code. We do expect that both complainants and respondents will take complaints seriously and by engaging positively with the board to resolve those issues. So, for example, a complainant will need to provide supporting information to assist the board's assessment. It's very important that complaints are not made on a ill will or frivolous matters. Similarly, the respondent should not be dismissive of a complainant's concerns, but instead provide a full and frank response to the board. It's always better to be open and cooperative if a mistake has happened. Thanks, Stuart. A copy of the Code of Ethics is now available on the Consult Australia website. That's www.consultaustralia.com.au. Go to About Us, then Governance. Thanks, Christy. Thanks, Stuart.